Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, dear brothers and sisters. It's a very significant topic for today's Jummah Khutbah, the Friday sermon here in Dubai. And the topic selected for today is homes are a place of comfort and tranquility. It is nothing but the mercy of Allah the Almighty that He has blessed us with homes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Noble Quran, Allah made for you your homes for your comfort and rest. There is no doubt that the best of the places in this world for us where we find comfort, we take rest and we find tranquility is our own homes. So it becomes very important for us to be conscious, to see what is happening in our home and take responsibility towards the duties that we are ordained for. The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, is reported to have said that pray your obligatory prayers in the masjid and pray your voluntary prayers such as the sunnah prayers and the nawafil prayers in your homes. Just like Allah the Almighty has His blessings over His home, that is the masjid, He will elevate the status of our homes, that is the places of our dwelling, when we pray there, the voluntary prayers to new heights. So it is remind, we are reminded to pray the voluntary prayers in our homes so that we elevate the status of our homes in the sight of Allah the Almighty. Also it is reported by the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him that a man who wakes up at the middle of the night and prays and wakes his wife and she prays Allah has a special blessings over such a person and similarly when a woman wakes up and prays and wakes up her husband and he prays they become eligible to gain special rewards from Allah the Almighty and Allah raises their status. It's quite important for us to be connected to Allah while we are in our homes. One of the best ways and modes to connect to Allah the Almighty while at home is the zikr of Allah the Almighty that is reciting the Noble Quran. One of the best chapters to recite at home is Surat Al-Baqarah. Allah protects the home in which Surat Al-Baqarah is recited. So we are reminded and encouraged to do so while at home. Dear brothers and sisters, we have to take responsibility of the people in our home and recognize our responsibilities and duties towards them whether they are elders or youngsters. Allah the Almighty has commanded us to greet them with Salam, that is peace. Salam is one of the highest greetings in terms of its level when it comes to greeting another person. Salam is nothing but spreading peace and harmony among people. So a believer is the one who greets his people at home by salam when he enters his house whether they are youngers or else whether they are elders or youngsters or of his age so we are encouraged to spread salam in our homes dear brothers and sisters it's also a very important factor for us to know what activities our children are involved in if you're a parent Parents with children have a bigger responsibility on their shoulders to find out the activities of the children and what they are involved in. According to the World Health Organization, majority of the youth and also the children in today's world in most of the nations have got influenced by substance abuse, which means drug addiction. 
So we are reminded to have a supervision on our children and to take every precaution to protect them from drug addiction. It becomes our responsibility to find out what kind of friends they move with, what kind of places they go to and give them proper guidance to restrict themselves from taking wrong friends and going to wrong places so that we protect not only our children but our families also because it's a very known fact and very obvious that if one of the family members is addicted to drugs or any such wrong activities sooner or later it's going to affect the family sooner or later light will be thrown on to the hidden facts and that going to disturb the peace and stability of the family so it is very important for the parents to keep an eye on the children and to take every precaution that they don't get misguided the other factor that disturbs the peace of such homes is the electronic devices the usage or the misusage of electronic devices and addiction to video games we are reminded to supervise the children that they do not go into taking a path that destroys themselves with such things around them with this my dear brothers and sisters i would like to conclude this short message to all of you uh, that it's very important for us to take care of our children and have a supervision on them and while we say this it's obligatory on our part uh, to practice all those things that we ask them to do so that we serve as an example for them rather than we asking them just to do may allah the almighty help us practice all the righteous deeds and get us closer to him in order to reap the rewards that he has placed for us in the life hereafter and in this world wa akhiru dawana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alamin assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah